get away from being a gas and give you the pressure of air in a more solid feel so you can actually feel it. Really. So I'm going to volunteer. I already got a hand raised, and we'll start with you, and everybody can get a chance to do that. I think you can fit in the bag. I think I might be full a little bit bigger than you. No problem. What I need you to do is you need you to curl down into a ball once you get in the bag. Okay. The closer and tighter of a ball you can fit in, and look, I'm pretty tiny as far as a ball. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. The closer and the tighter of a ball you are, the better it works out. So go ahead and step in. Now, while she's stepping in, I always do a little disclaimer. We never mess around with bags without supervision at home because bags have a problem. I can't breathe if they get stuck around my face, and that's an issue. So, yep, curl down into a ball. Okay, so, there we go, perfect. All right, and now what I'm going to do, just a little scooch, there we go, perfect. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go up around her face, because that's a, that would be dangerous, but I'm going to create this vacuum inside the bag so that you can see the pressure on her of the atmosphere. Now remember, it's the same pressure you're used to feeling all the time, it just you feel it as a gas, not as a solid. So here we go, you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try to keep away from her hair so I'm not pulling it. Of the air, so she can actually feel it. 